Hi there, and welcome to Revisit a Retro. I'm Johnny, and today I'm doing the Let's Revisit on the Dreamcast Racer F... whatever, however you say it. F355. I'm not a petrol head, so... that challenge, whatever that is, is a Ferrari. Cool. Um, we'll just do Arcade. This game is notoriously very tough. It's like spot-on simulation. So we got... We'll do the big circle one first because. Novice. I am a novice after all. If anyone watched my Metropolis Street Racer driving. Um. No, we want to race. Uh, you can only be that car. Which is the setting point of this. And you can only have this view. So, yeah, this game was quite tough, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, there we go. We'll hug this bend. We'll kiss this corner. Um, so, yeah, this is not a game I picked up when it came out. I picked this up years later while collecting. Because at the time, I just like just a tiny Like I used to work with my dad all summer, work for him, like doing family stuff, and all the money I got just with that games and consoles and oh jeez, I got it. So yeah, this is very simulationy. Time extended. Yes, cool. And this is not one that appealed to me at the time. I remember thinking it was absolutely gorgeous in the magazines and that, but just didn't, didn't appeal to me. Come on. Jesus. So yeah, the same point is we're all these Ferrari 355s, whatever you want to call them. And I think this was re released later on other consoles. But you can only read this view. This, this is designed for the steering wheel. Oh, which I have, I have it in the other room. I'm also on this other room, I've got a games room. Kind of a home cinema games room. Uh, adjacent to this one, I suppose. And uh, got all my games collection and everything's in there. So yeah, that's a car I'm driving ahead of me. Get away from it. Cut across me. So yeah, at the moment, like on, on a track with two bends, I don't do too bad. Come on, hug the corner. I'm not doing too bad, a four out of eight. This is the last act, now to make my move. I'm gonna cut this corner. Oh, swung out there. Not good enough, and some prick overtook me. Spent. To go back. Come on, go, 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 go. Sweet. That guy just dropped off for some reason. And I could take this guy here if I cut the corner. Like a knacker. Come on. No, it didn't work. It'll slow me down. Woo. No one's passing me out. Turd. Good. I'll take that in this game. So yeah, this is very simulation -y based. This is there's no you're not gonna be power sliding around corners here, like Why are we getting credits for this? We gotta Yeah. Game over. You gotta finish the races. Uh, in first, I think. No, it's alright. On the VMU it just gives you the name of the game. Sweet. We're unlocking stuff. We we'll just uh, 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 end. Cool. So yeah, this is another race that came out in the the final months of the ill fate of Dreamcast. You know, it was kind of like it was in its death throes of design. Manza. We're in Long Beach. 
you stay with novice. And yeah. Your selection. This one should be tougher. You have more than two bins. Um, cool. There we go. Uh, yes, I think it looks really nice. You know, games from this era can look good. Like, I remember I have a Driving Emotion Type S, I think it's called, on the PlayStation 2. That game looks like dog shit. They like, implemented this motion blur to kind of cover up their graphical problems. It's just migraine inducing. Now, more opportunity here to cut corners. Oh man. Oh man, sorry, I just realised that I've got tons and tons. No, 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 you're not passing me out. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, like breaking assistance going on here. It isn't good enough. If I had that turned off, I'd be winning. Or at least that's my excuse, I'm sticking to it. So, yeah, look, it still looks nice. It still looks like a. I wouldn't criticize this. For the time, this was groundbreaking. Like, but then, as, as I've said, in Metropolis Street Racer, Gran Turismo 3 was only around the corner, and like, threw this away. Get, get out of the way! No, 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 no! Get in there! It's my race. Yes. See, driving like a prick gets you pisses. He's trying to just go away, still trying to overtake me. Stop it. Stop it. I need to go wide swing at that now. Get. Look at him. Yeah. Look at the inside line. Oh, that was two inside. I'm actually ruining that guy's race behind me. That guy with his floating head. Oh man, I'm like, yeah. But for the next race, I'm turning off all this assistance. They will see who's the best. Go away! We're all driving the same car. How are you going faster? Oh, you're in my slipstream this way. <laughs> this creepy floating head. So yeah, I think I've given up a Oh, it stopped. I've given up trying to win this race. I'm quite content to just battle with this dude. Oh, come on. Nearly there, nearly there, nearly there. Oh, that wasn't the finish line. Time's up. Okay, that didn't go according to plan. Is that stick meant to turn like that? No, do not want to save that data at all. Right. Go with single play. See if we can turn off all this crap. Come on, sir. We'll go with... I don't know if you can turn off those. See, like the game knows, it's taunting me, it's like, no, you stick with novice, Jenny. Uh, Alright, we'll stick, with, we'll stick with novice. Don't want that. Yeah, we're just a race, man. Can't say anything, we can turn them off in here. Let's choose the colour, anyway. I'll we'll go yellow. <laughs> yeah, don't know what any of that means. Let's roll. Your selection. Race start. Cool. Here we go again. I'm hoping that 
my yellow paint will uh, assist me. But the thing with if you if you're racing the same car, every everybody's got the same car. Surely you're gonna be stuck in this thing where like you never wanna catch the car in front of you. Unless they're like driving like easy, but in the computer controlled world like this, like I can't imagine they're gonna be doing what I'm doing. Probably gonna drive perfectly around the track, you know, so like they're never gonna catch each other. And I'm gonna really struggle to catch them. This is my flawed logic of why I'm doing so shit, so just humor me. Last again? Not strange about that. Oh. At least I have an excuse with this game. I'm going to Street Racer, it was just me not paying attention. And this one, like, this game was notorious for being hard as nails when it came out because. It does things that Ferraris do, like understeer, like that. So yeah, this is Monza. Looks pretty nice. Alright, we'll try we'll finish seventh, that would be our target. We'll, we'll finish the race actually, we're gonna finish the last race. And then finish seventh hopefully. Because the car ahead of me I can see, I'm gonna catch him. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. It's uh I'm not just randomly crashing I'm not just randomly crashing into walls here, like it's it does react like an actual Ferrari does. So if you just power into a corner like I did there, you're not gonna power slide, you're just gonna crash into a wall. Because the steering won't react. And you can feel it, it's kinda weird when you're playing it, you can feel there's no force feedback like but Kind of, you kind of know the car is struggling to turn. Like the back of the car is pushing the wheels forward, even though it's trying to turn, turn to the left or right. Oh god, yeah. There we go. Alright, so. Alright. Okay, well, we're settled for finishing the race, so. There you go. See now. See, look, when you play the game, pro play the game properly. You can do alright. Let's hug the, hug the inside line. And you play it like a simulation. Oh, spoke too soon. I'm alright. Where's that? Where's that next car? Where's number seven? Oh, see, the there now again where the back of the car kicked out and I had to steer into it. Oh, why would you buy a Ferrari? Like, I've only ever driven one rear-wheel drive car, and like, it scared the crap out of me. I was like going around it in on a wet day. At like, it was like in a housing estate, so I wasn't going fast. And like the car spun on the road, I was like, oh, no more of that. And it was a Lexus as well, the, uh, the Japanese Mercedes. So, you know, I, I do love Lexi. Getting kind of lonely now, no other cars. So, would I recommend you get this? Um, if you saw it cheap enough, I suppose pick it up, but, like, unless you're a diehard racing, oh, bloody hell, unless you're a diehard racing game fan, you know, you're not going to have a whole lot of fun with this, you'll have more fun with the Gran Turismo, the Forzas, the Ridge Racers, even MSR, at least I finished the race, it's my yellow Ferrari. Finished eight. It's not too bad. You turned that table upside down. And number one. Yeah, um, would I recommend it? Maybe not. If you saw it cheap enough, get it. But 
yeah, you're not going to play a whole lot of this. Unless you're really into driving simulation and you want a game that's tough as nails, then this is the game for you. You get a steering wheel as well, you would be in heaven. But yeah, I'll probably never play this game again. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully my crap racing ability didn't turn you off. And yeah, we'll leave it there. So I was Johnny with Revisitor Retro. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.